And today I'm going to do a quick overview on how to use the interactive map in Padlet. Now this is a great way to create an icebreaker because it allows your students to um, put their location into a map um, in a live interactive way. I did this earlier in the week for, for my students and I'm, I am running this class from um, Ontario and was pleasantly surprised to find out um, the number of students who were who were attending the class from India, Pakistan, Vietnam, South Korea, Jamaica, and the United States. So it was very, very eye-opening for me. So how do we do it? Well, first you need a Padlet account. So I'm assuming that everybody here has a Padlet account. And if you don't, um, it's pretty easy to set one up. You just type in padlet.com and create an account. Once you are there, and this can be done with a basic account or if through the George Brown College site, and the George Brown College site offers um, a little bit more flexibility, and you're definitely able to get um, to get a free uh, GBC professor um, Padlet site. So the first thing that you do is make a Padlet. So click on Padlet, and then there's a whole list of Padlets that you can choose from here to make. Then I go to the map and select map. Here it says starting Padlet, and the first thing that we want to do is to give it a title. So you can call it Icebreaker, you can call it whatever you, whatever you want, you can put a description in it. Where are you? And then um, that's that's it. That's pretty much it there. Um, uh, but there's a couple of other things that you can do. All right, so you can choose different map styles. There's a whole bunch of different styles that that, that you can choose um, that you can choose to use. Um, you can choose different fonts. Um, you can require the author put their name in above each point. You can add a comment section in there. Um, you can require approval. Um, I don't do that because that's going to require me to approve everything before it gets posted up. You can also put on a profanity filter if you so choose. Then the next step is to start posting. And that is it. So um, when you're posting, you can choose um, how to share it. So up here in the top right, right corner, you can choose um, share. And here is where it gets a little bit, um, a little bit more complicated. I always have um, the under privacy, I choose secret as as a code and this just prevents other people in the public to to have access to your padlet um, and just requires that only the people that you share the code with will be allowed to use it okay you can also make it uh, password protected um, uh, but I use secret all, all of the time so just make sure that secret is selected then at that stage you have options here on how to share it so you can just simply copy the link and it comes up as a link and then you can go and paste that link wherever wherever you want to put it for your students so you can put it into you can put it into an email you can put it into teams you can put it into a chat message but here's a really interesting one that that i've just started using i've never really used it before but it's called the qr code so with the qr code you can you can open the camera in your phone and put it on the qr code and just open up the camera on your phone, log into the QR code, and it will take you directly um, on your phone to, to the Padlet. So to do that, you just simply click download to use that as an option. And then you're going to go to your, your, downloads, uh, your downloads folder, wherever, um, wherever you, you keep that. And then you will see the code right there. So you just copy that code and then you can you can share it to wherever you are um, wherever you are posting your your slides so for instance here i've just copied it and i'm going to put it right into a powerpoint slide here whoops sorry just give me a second i'll copy it and I'm just coming over to my slide and I'm just putting it right into right into the slide. So then from the, from the slide, the students, all they have to do, like I said, is open up their camera and, um, and 
they just have to open up their camera and um, focus it on that QR code and it will open it directly for them. Or, like I said, you can use a link. The link will, will show up there. Um, students simply have to click on the link um, and then they will be able to they will be able to start um, start posting into the Padlet. So what it, what does it look like? Well, when they come in to, to post, they just simply click on the on the plus button. So they can search their place. Um, so you know, I'm in Barbados. I'm not going to put that. Uh, sorry, I'm not in Barbados. I'm in Canada, but I'm from Barbados. I'm going to put in Toronto um, or Caledonia, where I actually am. Caledonia, Ontario, Canada, and then I'm just going to write my name in, um, and then it's it shows up on that map really close in. But if anybody else wanted to start posting, um, you'll be able to see everyone else in the world doing that. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty fun um, way to do it um, when you when you want to share this with your with your students to make it interactive. You just have to log back into to your Padlet account where it shows up. So here it is where we made it. There's the icebreaker, and then you can share this screen with everybody and you'll be able to share with them. I hope this is helpful for you all, folks. Have a fantastic day. This has been how we interactively share maps through Padlet. Ciao.